this is Kavana from EC third year Kitam University and I'm here to have a short interaction with my senior that is Raghu Praneet. Hey guys, uh, today we have with us uh, Raghu Praneet who has acquired a job in DXC companies so let's go and talk to him. Hey Raghu Praneet. Hi. Hey bro, so how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm good too. So, congrats that you got placed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, how is your uh, training going on? Yeah, it's going good. I'm enjoying it. Okay. So, what made you choose this job? Uh, well, uh, apart from the fact that uh, this was the first time to visit our college and uh, I was fortunate enough to get placed in it, uh, I all. The IT field always interested me, so I wanted to pursue a career in this. So, fortunately, I got placed, and uh, here I am. Okay, that's nice. So, what is like? What made you choose a software job? You're from a core field, right? You're from electronics, yeah, exactly. basically. Yeah. So, see, uh, most of the people who choose electronics and communication engineering have this huge question to answer. At least at some point of time in their career, yeah. whether to choose core industry or jump to the IT industry. So right. even uh, I had the same question. So see, most of the people who join uh, EC either join it because they're passionate, and most of the people like me join it because it gives us the flexibility to either stay in the core industry or to make a move towards the IT industry. So right. I joined for the same reason. So and after some time, I gave it a thought, uh, started thinking over it. And I decided that it would be wise to choose the IT industry given the opportunities and the depth it provides. So I chose the IT industry. Okay. Uh, so, how has GCGC helped you get into this position? Uh, oh, yeah, they played a huge part. Along with you know, my parents, uh, they supported me a lot. Uh, yeah. even, the, even the tough times when we, we had to move back to home due to the pandemic and uh, the interviews were going to be held online or virtually and uh, you know the trainings they provided uh, the people they got us to train in different areas like coding aptitude and all uh, they helped us a lot you know, to clear the aptitude assign assessments and all yeah uh, they're instrumental in uh, me being here yeah so whatever tests that uh, our college provided helped a lot during your yeah, exactly. uh, interview process right yeah yeah, yeah. So this is basically we all know that uh, we are facing a pandemic issues and uh, you're not even allowed to go out of your homes. So it yeah. must have been very difficult uh, for you because in college it'll be like you will be with your friends, you'll have some support, right. you share knowledge. Yeah. How was it yeah. for you to face it all alone at home? It was really difficult, you know. You know, we just came for a vacation of seven days, and it turns out that we are still here. We didn't go back. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was difficult because uh, we didn't know what to expect. Uh, every month they were telling out new things. First, they, they told the community was going to happen virtually. Then the online classes, then the semester exams, you know. Uh, we were the first batch to face all these things, so that made it even difficult. So right. hopefully, uh, you know, just, and after that, uh, you know, the time just flew quickly. Within a blink of an eye, we came in the sixth semester and uh, we were on the verge of completing our graduation. Oh, right. The time is running. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, usually we used to face all of this in, in an offline mode. And uh, shifting to an online mode quite will be quite difficult at the start. So, how was the selection yeah. process of the companies? And uh, how did you get through it? Uh, the selection process didn't change for offline and online. Uh, they carried out the same process. That is, uh, first they would... Uh, it's same for the most of the companies. First would be the aptitude. You know, they test your aptitude skills, and uh, going through the aptitude after uh, clearing it would be the group discussion round. After okay. the group discussion round, it would be the technical and HR. Uh, the process didn't change. It's just that uh, this happened uh, offline, and now it's happening virtually. Yeah, right. So, how was your experience working in a, a DXC Technologies? Uh, like I'm not yet working, I'm still undergoing my training, so okay. it's going to happen for a month more. And after that, uh, we need to clear an assessment. Uh, after the assessment, uh, they're going to onboard us for the company. 
Okay, so what are they actually training you for? Which domain are you working on? Uh, the domain is decided by the company. I got sorted into database administration. It basically revolves around uh, how to maintain a database for a project. When a client uh, comes you with the project, uh, obviously it requires lots and lots of data. So the man- managing the data and managing the database revolves around the database administration. So I'm being trained on it. So, bro, even I am from an uh, electronics background and I know that uh, whatever your uh, job you're doing now is totally irrelevant. So, uh-huh. we haven't even uh, ha- had the basic knowledge of database or anything from our yeah. uh, field. So, yeah. how is it to learn new things and grab it so fastly because you have to, uh, you will have deadlines, you have yeah. to meet their expectations. How is it? Uh, as a student, you can't help. But because uh, you know the syllabus for the college is pre-decided, so you yeah. can't add new subjects to it uh, unless it gets updated. So as you said, even I didn't have the database uh, subject. So initially, it was quite difficult for me to learn those things. But as the time goes, you can't help to but to learn it. So, you know, everyone in my batch are from uh, most of them are from CSE. Few are from the other core branches. But you know, we have to stay on uh, on date with them, learn what they learn. And uh, you know, uh, learn it from others, learn it from the internet. Even the trainers they teach very good. So I got to learn it. Okay, so basically, when engineering college, we have that uh, concept in our mind that uh, we should have lots of fun, and uh, you'll you'll actually don't know how the time pass passes by, and uh, you'll already be in your third year, right? So that is when yeah. actually things get heated up. You'll have yeah. pressure from all the sides. So how did you cope with the pressure and when did you start preparing for placements? So see, to be brutally honest, uh, I started preparing for it actually after the pandemic started, you know. We got the vacation and we came home. Uh, till that time, I was in the dilemma whether to stay in the core industry or uh, pursue the career in the IT industry. So don't yeah. do these things, it is, it's going to hurt you badly after that. So, you know, got to learn from mistakes made by your seniors. So, you know, learn from the mistakes which what we did. So I started preparing after uh, after the, uh, my sixth semester after the pandemic started, and as you said, uh, third year things get heated up, and uh, you know you get pressure from all the sides. You got to you know the uh, subjects that the difficult difficulty difficult level subjects increase, and uh, top of it you got to cope up with the coding, the training, and all. So uh, it all it all comes down to how you manage things. Right. Uh, so how did our college help you in getting into coding and uh, what are the uh, like programming languages that you personally suggest or which you adopted and learned? Uh, you see uh, the training as I said uh, the placement cell they started uh, getting companies uh, to train us Th- those trainers helped us to you know, understand the, from the basics because as you said uh, we are from poor background we don't have much knowledge about the uh, subjects what CSC people study, so it's quite yes. new to us. So the training helps a lot, you know, to learn those things and uh, get adjusted to it. Those trainings helped me, uh, you know. And after that, uh, the assessments they gave, the assignments, the tests. We we had weekly tests, and in the pandemic we had daily tests. So you know, they make sure that we are up to date with our topics and up to date with our skills. So they help uh, a lot. Okay, uh, so I would like to add one more point here. Like we have a common myth that uh, electronic students will not be asked more of more deep concepts as computer science students. Is that true? It's not at all. See, it's based on job description what you get. So when you are interviewing for a role, they expect you to know everything. If not everything, at least you know have a basic idea of what it is going to be. Uh, you know, you can't expect that uh, from electronics, so they won't ask me core, uh, uh, core CSE concepts like that. So when you're attending for an interview, be thorough with uh, you know what you tell and what you write on your resume. Don't lie on your resume. That's the important part. So it's, uh, do, it's as I said, it's a myth. Uh, it's not true. Yeah, correct. Uh, so what were you expecting and what is the reality like did you know that you would be placed here and uh, what were your actually expectations uh, see things were really difficult uh, back when the pandemic started so you know we were sent back home we didn't know how many the lockdown just kept extending we didn't know when we were going to return back to college uh, so uh, just uh, they hadn't started the online classes by then 
So you have to complete the syllabus of six semester, then write the semester exams. Uh, right. After all, the college opens the practicals, and after that, finding time to prepare for placements. So it was a uh, really difficult that time. So yeah. you know, we couldn't expect any one thing to happen. Things were happening randomly. Right. So we, ju- we were just ready for whatever that came our way. So you know, it should yeah. be. attend to enough to if any opportunity comes your way uh, come what may back the opportunity right so what do you think according to you are like other skills required apart from technical skills for an, attending an interview or anything such like, for that matter yeah apart from technical skills what i feel is uh, with my experience with the little experience which what yeah. i have what i feel is uh, you need to give smart answers it might be the first interview for you but that interview would have, interviewer would have faced it like lot hundreds of interviews so right. he all so if he asks a question he already knows what answer you are going to give because of his experience so what i feel is uh, you should learn to give smart answers spontaneously the more impressive answer is the more impressive the interview will be so we got to train that soft skills giving out smart answers okay according to the situation <sighs> Okay, that's nice, bro. And uh, so, apart from placements and stuff like that, so how was your journey in Geetum? Uh, I would say it was mixed emotions because I just got to leave behind a few years of engineering, and the rest two and a half semesters we spent at home online classes and all. Yeah. So, as much as I'm enjoying this, uh, you know, training part, getting placed and all, I'm also missing out on those days. You know, like right. uh, classes, assignments, assessments, practicals, labs, working. Those are fun days. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what suggestions do you like to give to your juniors? Ah, uh, suggestions. So I would say that you know, learn from mistakes, which what uh, we did. So it was new for us the whole concept of virtual interviews, virtual placements, and all. so at least now you got people you know who who share their experience how it is going to be learn from mistakes which, which we did be prepared for everything you know but we can't read how future is going to be so you got to be ready for everything right yeah bro thanks for that so what do you miss the most about geetum <laughs> yeah, i miss those college days you know like yeah uh, getting up having breakfast at the mess and uh, attending the classes coming back going Those times spent uh, with hanging out with friends at the lawn, the canteen, the birthday celebrations, what not. I miss everything about it. Like, yeah, looking back, I just uh, during this course of uh, one and a half year, I just don't feel like a student anymore. Given the training I started and all, it's like I was a student, not I am a student. I still have a month to go, but yeah, you know, I just don't don't feel like a student anymore. I, right. If given the chance, I would uh, try to you know relive those moments. Very well said, bro. And thank you for such a awesome conversation with you. I had a really fun time uh, talking to you. Hope okay. you enjoy the two. Thank yeah, you. Sure. I really did. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.